Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The purchase orders window is used to order inventory items from your vendors. You can then receive these items as they are shipped within the Purchases Receive Inventory window. Purchase orders can be edited by adding or removing line items, and the amounts within purchase orders do not actually affect the amount within the account's payable account until you actually receive the items you have ordered. You can open the Purchase Orders window by selecting Tasks and then choosing Purchase Orders from the menu bar. Start by selecting the vendor ID of the vendor for whom you are creating the purchase order from the drop-down of the same name. If you create purchase orders within an external application, enter the purchase order number into the PO number box. If you plan on printing the purchase order within Sage 50, then instead leave this field blank as it will be assigned during the print routine. Next enter the date that the purchase order was created and set the good through date as well. Your address information should appear in the ship to fields. If your billing address is different from your shipping address, you can enter your shipping address here. You may also notice a small checkbox for Close PO. Note that you can check this box to manually close a purchase order that you have created if you later learn that you won't be receiving all of the items ordered. It will automatically check itself once all items within a purchase order have been received. Below that, are the customer sales order number, customer invoice number, discount amount, terms, ship via, and AP account fields. After you have checked and changed that information if needed, you then enter the goods and or services that you want to purchase from this vendor into the line item area. If you are entering a purchase order for a vendor marked as a preferred vendor for a particular item, you can use the autofill button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the window to automatically add line items to the displayed purchase order for any low stock items that you routinely order from the currently selected vendor. The received field simply indicates how many of each line item were shipped on previous bills. The item field shows the item ID of the items if used. The description shows the description of any selected item. The general ledger account field shows the selected items inventory account. When ordering items not in your inventory, it will instead default to the vendor's purchase account. This can be changed if needed. You'll also need to enter the unit price and total amount for each line item. You can view the current vendor balance in the lower left corner. Clicking the right pointing arrow here will show you a report on the selected vendor. When you're finished entering the purchase order, simply click the Save button to save the information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.